Joining us on the line right now is Trevor Maddich. Time to do the red schedule for Good morning to you, Trevor. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. But, you know, uh, the drama continues. The drama continues out at Redskins The meltdown. Park. Yeah, and, and we're going to talk about the actual game here in just a moment. But we got to start out by talking about where we are quarterback-wise. because uh, So you got you got uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, I guess, as the backup this week. we got uh, we got your Colt McCoy, who's on injured reserve. Is that right? Uh, yes, he's, and, his neck injury is worse than originally thought. And so now uh, we're going to see a start by RG3. Uh, uh, tell me tell me uh, what's going on quarterback-wise. What, what, what is the coach hoping to happen here? Well, <laughs> the coach would like to win a football game. But, you know, the, if, if RG3 comes out and does well the next two games against Philly, uh, you know, this week on Saturday and uh, against Dallas to finish the season, then – you know, he's probably stuck with RG3 for another year. So, you know, what the coach wants to happen, because I, I get the impression that he'd like to move on. Either way, what RG3 needs to show is that he's anticipating what the defense is doing, anticipating the route, throwing the ball on time so the ball arrives at the moment the route comes open. Now, this is something uh, to, to tell your friends during the game, okay? This is your water cooler thing. In the NFL, accuracy is not just defined by putting the ball where it's supposed to be. It also has to be there at the right yeah, moment right. because a route will come open only for a short period of time. And if you wait to see the open receiver and then throw it, he'll be covered again by the time the ball actually arrives there. And against different kinds of defenses, the moment that that route comes open will be different than other kinds of defenses. So these are the things that RG3 needs to show that he's improving on anticipating when the ball needs to get there, throw the ball on time on, a, on anticipation. That's what the coach needs to see. Well, he certainly he hasn't shown any improvement. He certainly hasn't shown any improvement this year almost whatsoever. And, you know, we were ch- chatting a little bit earlier about this uh, on the show, but I'm a, I'm a Bears fan. I'm from Chicago, and I wonder, well, uh, see, Trevor, so if you, <laughs> we're not having the best season either. I wonder if you can tell me if you're hearing anything about this rumor that's hot in Chicago uh, you know, we've got quarterback problems with Cutler, who we just signed for, what, $100 million or something. Uh, Cutler for RG3, straight up. Is that going to happen? Oh, please no. <laughs> for who? <laughs> oh, my gosh, please no. <laughs> Listen, Cutler is having the same problems that RG3 yeah. is to a certain degree. That's a bad team. Cutler is not improving in doing what his coach, Mark Tressman, wants him to do. Right. Cutler is trying to make the play and be the hero and throw the ball down the field regardless of how many Yeah, I think he leads, the, leads the league in interceptions, doesn't he? Yeah, and, and the thing is, the, you could say it's not all his fault because, again, he's trying to come back. But you still need to just take what's there instead of trying to violate the laws right. of physics <laughs> and expect the ball to pass through the bodies of defensive backs on the way to your receiver. And Cutler, by the way, if the Redskins pick him up, they will pick up the richest contract yeah, I know. in NFL history, right, I believe. Yeah. And right, they so, don't need to do that. They need Trevor, to build from the ground Trevor, up. Trevor, tell me, what's your, what's your guess? I'm going to ask you two questions. Will RG3 be a Redskin next year, and will Gruden be with the Redskins next year? My guess is that, is that they will both be a Redskin next wow. year. That's my guess. What's probably best for everybody involved is for Gruden to be a Redskin next year and RG3 to get a fresh start in a new place. But I think it's more likely that they'll pick up the option on his contract, which will cost them around $15 million uh, this offseason, and keep moving with them. That's well, he doesn't really. have much marketability right now, does he, RG3? I mean, yeah, he, well, right now, round draft pick for him? On him. Remember this, guys. There are 32 NFL teams. There are not 32 starting caliber <laughs> right. NFL quarterbacks in the world that are ready to play right now. So yeah. somebody... Somebody yeah. like the Jets will, will take a chance on RG3, see if they can do something with it. All right, let, let me let me see if I can sort of uh, get back to another thing, and that that is, you know, the, this idea that we, we've seen some Heisman Trophy winners who have struggled. I mean, Manziel, he's struggling. Uh, RG3. Tebow. Uh, Tebow. Tim Tebow, str- you know, struggled, can't find a job in the NFL. All of these guys were Heisman Trophy winners who did well in college, but when they get to the NFL, they don't do so well. What's going? Why is that? Why is it that they they excel so much in college, and then when they get to the NFL, they don't seem to be able? Is it because these guys were scramblers and that worked in college, but it doesn't work in the NFL? It's a different skill set yeah. that they're using right now in college because you've got the up tempo, spread offenses. You're running 80 plays a game, 
and the way you read a defense and the requirements of you as a passer are a lot different than they were in college football even 10 years ago. Uh, and so it's hard to evaluate what they'd be able to do in terms of their ability to process information. Johnny Manziel in his first start against Cincinnati last week, the problem was he was not processing information fast <laughs> enough. Yeah. What usually you have to process in about 1.5 or 1.8 seconds, he was processing in three seconds. Right. And in college, you know, he wasn't asked to do it that way. So you just have to take it on faith that he'll learn it in the NFL. Well, he could outrun all those defensive, you know, defensive linemen in the in the college, but in the pros, <laughs> he can't elude those guys. They're so fast and quick and strong. Yeah, they are, and they, and everything happens faster. And yeah. that's why in college you see what happens and you react to it because you're a great athlete. In the NFL, if you do it that way, you're already too late, right. and the play is already over. Also, Michael Vick says he would love to be a Redskin. Oh, isn't that rich? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that, you, you went there. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> well, how, how, I mean, is, is that is that even something that might be considered? Oh, please, Redskins, no. Please, <laughs> please no. Please, no. He, he's a veteran quarterback. He, 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 would just, he would bring another set of drama. Right. What, what the Redskins need to do is treat this team like an expansion team. They need to build from it's the ground bad, up huh? at the core <laughs> positions and have a four-year plan instead of always trying to fix it in one year. All right, so we got the Eagles. They are nine and five, and the Redskins are three and eleven. What 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 do they need to do? Is there any way they can pull this one off? Sure, they can. the The Redskins could win this game. The Eagles have a ton of injuries, and but the Eagles are desperate now because they no longer control their own playoff destiny. So you have a motivated Eagles team coming in. You've got a Redskins team that's doing everything it can to you know to to. Get, get fired up for each week. Right. And so the Redskins could win, but right now the, the problem remains the same for the Redskins as it always has been. Their personnel aren't good enough to win in the league. Sometimes it's because their starters are terrible, in the case of the tight ends as blockers. Sometimes it's because they have too many injuries and too many young guys playing, as in the case of the secondary, where you've got guys off the practice squad, guys off other teams' practice squads. They're just not good enough to play. And that's the big reason I think Philly will come in and win this game. Uh, one other thing. I noticed that there's, there was a ruling by the FCC. FCC was asked to, to rule about uh, whether or not the name Redskins was obscene or somehow offensive. And the, the, the FCC says the Redskin name is not offensive. I said, that's about right. They haven't been offensive in years. No, I think that is right. And that's from a, from a governmental standpoint, I think they made you, the right you decision. You missed my joke. They haven't been offensive in years. Oh, oh, good <laughs> joke. That was hilarious. That went oh, right wow. up my head, too. Brian, you're a funny yeah. guy. You're I so funny. Well, if I have to explain it, apparently not funny enough. No, no, no. no. You're, you're explaining it to a guy who got hit in the head for a living for 12 years. That, that was a very, very good joke. Actually, too many yeah. concussions, huh? Yeah. I would phrase it this way. They have not been offensive in years. They've yeah. been offensive for a long time. <laughs> yeah, they've been offensive for a long time, especially the way they play. All right, listen, Trevor, thank you very much. We'll check in with you on Monday and see how they did. All right, thanks, Brian. Thanks, uh, Steve. It is now. <laughs> I thought it was a good life.